Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, little catch up video for you. Um, I did some testing. I showed you the cat. I think that was it <laughs> that I'd made that um, Lainey had uh, linked the pattern for me. Words, struggling with words today. It's been a very, very busy morning at work. I'm very sorry. But anyway, I tested, not this one, uh, but tested a cat and it passed. So, yay, because I have another one and a third one that isn't finished, which you will see in a minute. I have a box of unfinished things. Um, but yeah, so I tested six, seven, seven items. Um, five of them passed straight away. <laughs> one of them ended up giving me a bit of a headache but has now passed and the seventh one has gone in the bin because <laughs> at that point after having tested one of the items four times I want to say yeah and then testing this last one that failed straight away I was I was done I was a bit cross so he he went he went in the bin I feel a bit bad but I'd also lost my temper by then <laughs> so it was just safer so Sorry, I'm just looking over because um, I've turned all the lights on because it's quite dark outside and the hamster is in this room and I'm hoping I haven't woken her up because she'll be really grumpy. If she does wake up though, I might come and get her to say hello, but I think she's going to stay, stay snoozing for the, for the minute. Anyway, I've, <coughs> excuse me, I've been quite busy um, getting my new patterns made. I say my new pattern, I didn't design them. Other people who are far more intelligent than me have designed them. But let me show, excuse me, let me show you what I've been up to. I have a box of unfinished things because, well, it's me, isn't it? <laughs> so, third cat just needs a nose. So it's not too much to do. Although I think I sewed his tail on wonky. Oh, well. It's very cute stuff. It reminds me of the Felix cat. This is the one that I said to you that I'd only made the face of. <laughs> I think I told you that. So yeah, he's got nice silver glitter eyes. Um, and then I tested a whale. Again, none of these are finished because it's me. So I have six whales in different stages of finished. I think I have six, yes. Six whales. Put them back in. So the whales. <clears throat> I'm trying to rub off. It's a hole. <laughs> it's a hole in my top and I thought I had muck on me. Sorry. Like I said, it's been a very, very busy day at work and my my um I've got a bit crazy, let's just say. So yeah, six whales, and then I made the duck in a frog hat, had to make them. And he passed, so I've made six of those. Again, in various stages of completeness. Um, and also what I want to do is I actually want to make some without the hat, so they're just the duck. And then I want to also do the colour changes so it's a mallard, in theory. We'll see if I actually do it. Probably not, but the thought is there. <laughs> So yeah, six of those. And then um, little turtle, baby turtle. Squishy head in the hope ah, that it doesn't go like this. So yes, little turtle. And again, I have six of those. So I have two blue, two in orange, and two in green so I want to make some more of those um and then the last thing that well actually no that's not the last thing I didn't make these this week I made these last week is a is a, is a bag of bunny bits <laughs> I I get to this point and then I look at it and go oh that looks like quite a lot of sewing I'll save it for another day but I don't have any bunnies so I really should actually do that but I have Thursday off, so I might, I've got tomorrow off as well, although my son has an appointment in the morning. I might do making tomorrow 
and sewing on Thursday. I might. We'll see. I might be there on the morning of going, oh my god, I've got to put all the bunny bits on. But we'll see. And then the last thing that I made <laughs> is the thing that kept failing. So this is the original. As you can see, it has been tortured. Um, whoops, Daisy. There's a hole here. Um, <sighs> he had a leaf. He had a little curly leaf. And the curly leaf passed the initial testing. And then after he'd been washed, when I weight tested it again, it ripped off. So he now doesn't have a leaf. So I thought I thought I saw something out the corner of my eye, but I didn't. I'm just going nuts. And then tentacles. Doesn't have all his tentacles anymore because half of them snapped during weight testing. And the ones that didn't snap, I realised had failed because I don't know if I can show you now basically this is something you you crochet the tentacles into front loop only front loop only so it's all crocheted in like there's no sew I'm trying to think of words um so it's this one little little loop can you see there and it's now oh, you can see it there look see it's hanging on for dear life oopsie it had um snapped the loop basically so i did it again um i did a different tentacle using acrylic and yummy yarn together this is all the rest of it's all snug um and rather than attaching it by crocheting it to the loop i sewed it on there you go and that passed so this is the second version i don't know if i like it i don't know if it needs more tentacles it's only got seven it's a jellyfish not an octopus i don't know how many tentacles octopus jellyfish are supposed to have um what do you think i think it just looks a bit stiff whereas this one is obviously all like floaty and lovely and these are you know i love these tentacles but after doing four different designs of tentacle. Oh, she is up. Put in separate ways, in different ways, sorry. <laughs> um, I was fed up and that design worked, so I went with it. I might go and try this again, but every single method that I tried, the tentacle snapped or the stitch snapped. And this was the only one that worked. I'm gonna go get her in, I'm gonna say hello in a second. So this is Oreo, my son's hamster. So it's a very, very sweet little girl, aren't you? Just giving her some sunflower seeds if she looks a bit lopsided. Um, it's the middle of the day, I know, I'm sorry. But she was just so cute, I wanted you to see her. So she is um, 18 months old. Uh, she's getting a little bit lethargic in her uh, middle age. Well, actually, you're about 50 in how many years, aren't you? But she's lovely. She's very, very nice. Bit of an escape artist, so we have her to uh, rescue her from odd places. But she's a good girl. She put you home. She let you go back to sleep. I'm going to show everybody your little noses. I'm going to say hi. Say hello. I'm going to put her home. I've completely lost my train of thought now. She's staring at me <laughs> like, what's going on? Why are you talking to yourself? In the middle of the day. <laughs> well, why not? So yeah, so um yes, this guy. Let me know what you think. I love, 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 love the eyes. Um, which is actually something else that I tested. Um I oh I tested my spider, that was the other thing. This guy, but I made him in black and he had safety eyes. I'm sure I showed you him last time. I'm sure I did. <laughs> safety eyes so <laughs> i bought 80 sorry looking at hamster 18 millimeter macunia from amazon and 12 millimeters because they do the glitter eyes and they have all the relative certificates the 12 millimeters don't stay in anything or at least i can't get them to so I tested them on the spider, 
and they popped straight out. And I thought, oh, well, that's because Snug's really thick, so I couldn't pop them on far enough. That was my theory. So I thought they'd actually look really cute on little dinosaurs or in the bees, the um, medium-sized bees. Um, not that size, those are the big ones. You know, the normal, that size. So I made two fake heads, <laughs> as you do, and put the 12 millimeter eyes in those. So I made a fake dinosaur head, well, I say fake. I made a dinosaur head and then I made like half a bee um, because I didn't want to waste the yarn if it was not going to be used for anything. And they failed the weight test on that too. So I have a whole bag of 12 millimeter eyes that I can't use, which is not ideal but it is what it is it's a learning curve and this is exactly why we do the testing so that we can find things like this out so i now know that because it didn't take a lot to pop them off that if a child was to put one of those eyes in their mouth somehow get their teeth around it and pull the chances are they'd have ended up with an eye in their mouth with the chance of swallowing it and choking on it etc etc lesson learned 18 millimeters didn't have an issue with quite happy with those so i will continue to use those but i am also quite tempted to write to the seller and just be like are you aware that your 12 millimeter safety eyes aren't actually that safe like it, it i mean to, you do have to put a lot of sorry a lot of um weight on them it's 9.2 kilos 9.2 or 9.3 i do nine because my actual clamps are really heavy um, and I was told to include the weight of the clamps in with the weight testing so I always have nine kilos in a bag and then I have my two clamps and um literally I couldn't even get the bag off of the ground when I was trying to lift the toy so that wasn't even the full weight it was maybe like three or four kilos if that and they just popped straight off and they didn't damage the actual toy the backs just fell off the eyes so it's not that I wasn't putting them through a stitch or anything like that and it was ripping out, you know, the back wasn't ripping out, still attached to the eye. The back was still in the toy and the eye was in my hand. <laughs> so yeah, I won't be using those. Um, but like I said, I think I might message and just be like, can you tell me if I've done it wrong? Is there something else I'm supposed to do? Um, I messaged the group chat, not the group chat, I messaged the page and asked if anybody else had managed to get them to pass. I didn't really get a straight answer. Someone was like, oh, melt the backs. I was like, no, not allowed to do that. Um, and then someone else suggested putting felt in. But that's just adding an extra barrier between the eye and the washer, which means it's thicker, which means you can't push it as far. Um, so that's not going to help me. I can understand if people have had the whole back come out to put the piece of felt in. That makes perfect sense because obviously it would stop. You'd have a bigger surface area so the washer wouldn't go through the stitch. I completely get that. But when it was a case of the actual washer flying off, I don't think felt's going to help. Um, unless they were thinking of something else and I just didn't understand what they were saying, which is highly possible. Um, but yeah, so that is that. Um, but I think I'm going to order some more of the... 18 millimeter eyes eventually um i might look at getting a different brand for 12 i might not bother i might just continue to do what i have been doing which is excuse me sew my eyes on as much as i hate sewing but it would have been nice to have it for the rabbits and the cows because the rabbits and the cows have crocheted eyes so i actually make the eyeball and then put the highlight and then sew it to the toy and that takes ages because it's finicky and i have to put my toys together before i put the eyes on because i don't trust myself to put them in the right place um so yeah so it would have been nice for that but never mind it is what it is um <laughs> yeah so plans um i want to make another cat because <laughs> i just love them I don't even know if I want to sell them. I just want to have them. And obviously, um, 
if I was at the same market as Lainey, then I wouldn't take them with me because that's her speciality and I wouldn't want to step on her toes and she's absolutely amazing at what she does. And I still want my cat. <laughs> Speaking of, she has her own YouTube channel, um, Penny Pot Crochet. Go check her out. Her first video went up last week and it's brilliant and really made me laugh out loud more than once. She's hilarious. Um, but yeah, go check her out. She's so talented, but do go and check her out. I will link it below. Um, so yeah, like I said, I wouldn't I wouldn't ever take cats to the same show that she was at because that's not fair. Um, I've got a craft fair on Saturday, so I might, might take them. I don't know. It feels a bit wrong. I don't know. We'll see. See how I'm... Sorry. Changing weather. See how I feel. But I want to get some more of the whales and the little turtles done. I'm going to attempt to try and do some chicks without hats and maybe some mallards. I need to do some mermaids because I don't have any. I sold all of those. Um, that is EA. I just don't particularly enjoy making them. No, that's not fair. I don't enjoy sewing the head on because actually not the head even the hair <laughs> I'm really tired um the mermaid itself is um no so so you make the fins then the tail well you make the arms first sorry make the arms first make the fins make the tail make the body attach the arms and then make the head and then it comes with like a wig cap which is the bit that is a bit of a pain. Um, there's two different ways to do it. There's one way that I do when it has the buns. So you have to make the individual buns and then attach that to the wig cap and then sew that all on. Um, or you can make strands of hair, which obviously I don't think is as safe because it's more of a fire risk, even though everything is fire tested. And I just think it's more opportunity for some small person to pull it apart. Um, and basically, basically I don't want to wait test the hair. So obviously I'll wait test the buns, but I don't want to wait test the individual strands of hair. Um, I say individual, it's like little, little crocheted strips, but no. So I do the buns. So I'm probably creating more work for myself in the long run, but feel safer. So I do that. So yeah, so I want to make some mermaids, which I am going to try and force myself to sit down and do tomorrow, even if I just get the bits done. Like I said, have like a crochet day tomorrow and a sewing day on Thursday. Um, I don't know whether to make any more Halloween style stuff. I would like to get another spider done so that I have two. Um, I think that would be quite nice and I would like to get another jellyfish done in theory <sighs> I've got three markets in October and the last one is literally the week of Halloween like the week before yeah the week before not the week of so that could be you know good for people looking for last minute decorations or anything but I don't want to be stuck with a load of Halloween things and then have to store them for a year because I mean, I could just take them randomly. I mean, I buy Halloween themed stuff all year round. So there's that. Um, so I'll see how I feel on that front. So I've got four ghosts in witches' hats. I've got four frogs in witches' hats. I've got four grumpy pumpkins, one spider and one jellyfish and one zombie chicken. <laughs> so I might make another zombie chicken. Probably won't. I say all this. So mermaids, at least two. Jellyfish, spider, cat, zombie chicken, ducks, and whales. Seven things. We'll see. We'll see. It's not completely and utterly unrealistic. It's not. I can do it. I can do it. I just need to find the time and I need to not go mad like I did yesterday and decide to make 10 things in a day because my finger is sore today and I realise that I am damaging this part of my finger. It's numb. <laughs> oh, it's weird. I think it's, it's only ever since I started using the um, the snug. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I, like I always say, I've got quite a tight tension. So I don't know if I'm just like 
literally cutting the circulation off to my finger. I don't know. But um yeah, that is that is the plan. And then eventually I'd like to make this guy. I'm just gonna grab him. This guy. I can't remember if I showed you him before, but I'd like to make one of these guys. His hat comes off. If I make one to test, I will probably sew it on. Um, I think there might be. Yeah, they are. They're the same size eyes. These are from Timu. Um, before I knew all the, all the safety laws and everything. These don't budge. They do not budge, but they're not chemically compliant as far as I know. Which is a shame because, like I said, they are. <laughs> they're not going anywhere. The... Um, the backs are like the domed, the domed backs that you literally need to put a special tool on the back of to even get them on. So there's no way that they're coming off. The backs to the minu, 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 I can't even remember. The Amazon eyes are um, flat. So, yeah. But obviously I wouldn't be able to use different backs because not tested. But yeah, eventually I would like to get this guy added to my inventory. Can't remember the pattern though. <laughs> Just throwing him on the floor. Um, he looks so funny without his hat. <laughs> his head looks huge. <laughs> but I mean, I just think if you like, if you imagine having this guy and this guy, how cute would that be? Like a dad and a baby? Because he, he does look like a like a dad size, doesn't he? I don't think he's a mummy size. He's, he's a, he looks like a dad. You could have an in-between one. But I reckon I could probably work this pattern out if I can't find it. I think it was a pattern test, actually, so it's probably on Ribbler. I'm just throwing them everywhere. Um, in fact, I think he's on my Instagram when I did the pattern test, so I can look back and, and find it, because it is very, very cute. So that's something to aim for. And like I said, I would eventually like to get a dolphin done. But I've got quite a big inventory now. Or, well, I say inventory. I've got quite a big list of tested toys. So, cat, duck, whale, turtle, other turtle, bunny, mermaid, cow, two different types of dinosaur, sitting bee. What else do I make? What else? Do I oh, pop-ups. So pop-up mushrooms and pop-up birds. That's 13. Did I say bunnies? Jellyfish? 14. Uh, spider? 15. Chicken? 16. 16 odd items? That's quite good, isn't it? Um, it'd be nice to have 20 different things. But we'll see. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough. So I will let you guys go. Um, I hope you have a really good week and hopefully I'll catch up with you soon. I'm hoping to do an inventory video, like actually go through it all and see what we've got. We'll see. <laughs> all right, take care. Bye.